Joey and I have been together since we were 15 and from a very young age we both had hearts for people with special needs. We uh, babysat a young boy with Down syndrome. When we were in high school, we after that worked with a Special Olympics volleyball team. And um, even from the beginning, we knew that we wanted to one day adopt a child with Down syndrome. And we thought that it was going to be a baby, or at least younger than Ace, who was two at the time. But um, by some crazy twist of fate, um, Archie kind of fell into our laps, and he was seven at the time, which is not what we expected, but it all worked out perfectly. My favorite me memory with Archie is when I went to Bulgaria to meet him. We had been waiting for so long to meet this little boy, and we just had a few pictures that we had stared at over several months, and we were so anxious to meet him. So happy. Such a long, grueling process, and to meet him the first time was was pretty uh, pretty unexplainable. Um, he spent um, his first seven years of life in an orphanage, so he um, had a lot of obstacles to overcome. Um, aside from the challenges that come with Down syndrome, he um, didn't get all of the early intervention and um, care that kids here um, get. So he does have to overcome a lot of challenges, and he just works at it and works at a goal until he gets it. Um, and uh, things that other 11 year olds um, do with ease and that come naturally to them, he has to really work at. Uh, just like writing his name, he's, he's been working on learning to write his name for a while now and he keeps at it and he's almost got it down and um, he just he doesn't give up and he um, works on something until he's got it. He works really hard and it's really kind. Having a child with special needs to me is, is, is no different as far as raising children um, compared to our two typical kids. I mean, they're all crazy, they all bother me, <laughs> and, uh, and they're all great, and, and you know, you don't, you don't love them or, or treat them any different. Uh, the most difficult thing we encounter um, on a daily basis is probably just um, when people don't understand Archie. Um, lots of times when we're out in public, he will act in a certain way that, that draws attention to us, and um, oftentimes people just don't get it. I noticed they're, they're kind and nice, but when we go places, they're, uh, and they don't know they're kind and Everybody is more patient than I would have ever expected, especially those who know him but have maybe never met him. It's pretty refreshing to see that as much as we do. My favorite, my most favorite thing to do with Archie is play with him on the playground and swing with him. I love us. I like. People with Down syndrome are happy all the time. That's a really common misconception about Down syndrome. Um, when the reality is, while Archie is happy a lot, and really most of the time he's, he's a happy kid, um, he also experiences the full range of emotions, just like the rest of us. He gets sad, he gets angry, he can be mean. Um, he's grumpy, um, he, he has all the feelings that we have, and he, um, he can have his feelings hurt, um, just like any other kid. Uh, the biggest worry I have about Archie's future is, um, I mean, I guess just like you would any other kid, just to make sure he grows up happy, healthy, and, and uh, does the best we, he can with, with what he's, 
one's cat. There are a lot of misconceptions about special needs and Down syndrome specifically. Um, one of them is that um, that individuals suffer from these disabilities. Um, when really Archie thrives, he he does struggle, but it's not, we don't suffer because he has Down syndrome. He doesn't suffer. Um, he's happy and he has a great life and um, he's loved. With your polished shoes My life had your housey tunes 